Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I just wanted to post a quick video. I saw a question out in a forum where a user was saying, I've created a pivot table chart or a pivot chart and I don't know how to make it a combo chart and have uh, both a line and a column in there. Well, it is pretty simple. Uh, but uh, if it's fooling this user, it might fool anybody. So let's post a quick video on it. Um, so what I have is I have my data over here on the left. I've created a pivot table from that data. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to go click anywhere inside your pivot table, go up to your insert ribbon. And then from your insert ribbon, go ahead and choose any chart, probably one of the two types of charts that you want. And so go ahead and click on a 2D column chart. And then uh, let me get this over here so we can see it. So as you can see, it's created a column for both of them. And you've got different slicers that are in here. But uh, uh, what they wanted to do is they wanted this really small percentage one to be uh, a line chart instead of a column chart. So uh, there is, I'll have a link in the show notes to how to select an unselectable data series because you can see it's kind of hard and small to click on. Um, I'm having a hard time. So what I normally do is there's several ways to do it, but one way is I click in the chart and I move my up arrow key or down arrow key until I see it highlight the series that I'm looking for. Then simply what you'll need to do is uh, go up to your within the chart, click on the series, go until you're on that exact series. Then what you want to do is go into your pivot chart tools in your design area and uh, or if you're in an older version of Excel, it might just say chart tools and you're going to want to click on change chart type. Now it's going to look a little different than this. This is Excel 2013, um, but you should just be able to, after choosing that, uh, you can go ahead and change the one that you want to be a line and you can pick the line with markers. Now Excel 2013 uh, also has this great selector here where I can even move it to the secondary axis right there all in one shot. Click on OK and you can see I've made my chart identical to the chart that I had before. Um, so it's kind of quick and simple, but it can throw people for a loop. So once again, find the series that you want to change by using your up and down arrows. Then go up to your ribbon, go to change chart type, and then just change the one that you want to align. Once again, this is Excel dashboard templates.com. Please subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. And if you have any other suggestions on videos, please leave them out there on my blog at excel-templates.com.